Like, do I like, or do I just want to focus on making the money and teaching my kids or teaching a school that is going to make it so money's the bottom line and the whole creative process is kind of dismissed. How do you deal with that tension? How do you deal with that kind of that tug of war that's inevitable, you know, because again. Yeah, no, that's a really good question. So yeah. I feel like it's twofolded, right? Yeah. Because I am super transparent that I know not every not everybody can invest the time and the money it takes to work with me to mm -hmm. build that presentation. And not every presentation needs that investment. Like there's a financial investment. Right. However, when you can invest the potential to get the answers and the growth that you want. Again, talking about investors, when you can invest a couple thousand dollars into your pitch deck, when you show up to that meeting and you're more confident, your story is more solid. You can lead the conversation. You can guide them along so that in the end, they're making the decision that you need them to make and you've driven them to make it in the, hopefully in your favor. That's mm -hmm. Uh, like unlimited potential, right? Like you, so that now all of a sudden your, your pitch deck is the strong, powerful tool and you're getting the people who want to invest and say, I trust you. I believe you let's go. Okay. Um, but I also am totally again, aware that like, you can't always hire me. 